one knock. Crazy is going to be taken out by Hunter, but but Grave is still on the players of the Elementrix. One versus four, trying to fight this one out as his teammates are going to fight in the other direction. The car gets blown up, but Grave gets dropped down to 40% health. The nade being cooked. If the players from Elementrix they charge in, or the nade connects to them, it's going to be a bad situation for them. The nade has been thrown, but is it going to do the damage, or is it going to miss? It is. Is it going to be able to take down Elementrix, or is it just going to be a waste of utility from the side of Badrave? INES controlling the top of that mountain is going to be important for them. Or it's trying to fire on the players from the side of TDP that were passing by in the vehicle. It is going to miss. But T2K, once again, they are going to be taken down as all the players are collapsed upon by PN Gaming. And now INES, they focus on PN Gaming. Machine takes a huge hit to his face, drops down to 45% health. This is going to be a game of Miramar in, in, in a wrangle as this has so many ridges for the circle right now. 97 gets eliminated, so big names are getting eliminated. But look at this, Elementrix moving in really close. Orange goes down, Mr. Yozu and Shaka are moving in. Mr. Yozu goes down as Badrave also takes one on the face. Evil Eye and Tia are out there. Shaka and Pupu Man 2 versus 2 scenario ladies and gentlemen. Which team is going to get eliminated out there? That's going to be a big question as Shaka is out there. Shaka, Evil Eye with the grenades right now. The grenades are creating a red zone, but the revivals are to be done as well. Mr. Yozu gets spotted. He will be finished. And the grenade comes in on one of the players. As one more player of Elementrix is low on health right now. Poo Poo Man has 75 HP. Uh, Poo Poo Man would like to move in for one grenade through the smoke. Can just do everything. But Ray will be taken down. Tia will be taken down. Machine will be taken down. Evil Eye solo surviving. Can he just take down Poo Poo Man? And Shaka rising Nepal goes on the 10th position. It's a 1v2 situation. The smokes are still popping in once again. One smoke goes down. The second one comes in. Evil Eye is. He is proning right now. He will be taken down as Elementrix. Win this fight, they lose two players, but still they look really good as they eliminate INES on the eighth position. Yeah, but is that gonna matter in these final moments? Two versus four situation is gonna be horrible for them, and PN Gaming can actually make that happen. But right now, a lot of teams have dropped a lot of players, even PN, they are just surviving with two. TDP is gonna be there with two. Salty AJ is like sandwich between these two teams so it is going to be a horrible situation for this player from the side of salty squad rusen is going to rotate out in that vehicle but that is just going to be noise being made by him and he's going to be spotted out the rotation is towards the compounds but can he make use of those compounds that is going to be another question that we are going to be asking ourselves and team extreme is sitting there with the most players alive three on them other than that pn gaming elementary tdp salty squad dead eye guys all with just two players and Janmara is just going to be there with one solo guy in this fight. On the other side, talking about how many kills, how many points these teams have secured. Extreme is sitting at 6, PN Gaming at 5 for now. So, a lot more kills are going to come as TDP Puffy is going to drop down Mafia Ninja from the side of PN Gaming, putting the two players in trouble. Mafia Ninja is going to be finished off. Blend the only man left standing. Who is going to get the kill? Elementrix or Team Extreme? Or is it going to be the Salty Squad? But TDP Puffy is going to be taken down by Salty Squad and TDP is going to be eliminated as the nade from Utsarga. It takes down Utsarga only yeah. and that was something different but look at this ladies and gentlemen top damage dealers TX uh, still out there TX team in 764 five kills for this guy he can be an MVP contender as well as we and Ninja is also out there with 5 kills 607 but look at this salty AJ has gone down as Elementrix is still inside the fight when Elementrix is in the fight no doubt if it's two players or three they can just take each and every fight or sometimes they, they have the capabilities of 1v4 as well but right now they'll have to get inside a bit inside the circle as DE is gonna gate kill look at this a grenade comes down Ooh. as Illusion Sir goes down Wado is low the grenade just came in out of nowhere and Shaga was the one dealing the damage Boo Man will also have to go right now the smokes are gonna pop in from Wado Sir's side the smoke is gonna uh, commence in, in a while right now TX on the other hand you can see on the edge of the circle Jean Mara with a single player outside the circle Solty with two players still at the uh, outer edge of the circle Shaga with one grenade Grenade takes down for two players and that is gonna be the end of the e plays on each sub salty and that is gonna be the end of that player as well but right now tx moving in forward on the side of elementrix can they just take this fight as shagar he knows the location he has information the left hand side is filled with the shagar knows it the groza comes into the equation takes out one but will not be able to take down two but on the other hand Poo Poo Man takes down one on one hp he is so low on his health right now niku 
has the information been given? No, but the damage has been done. He has taken Shagar. Pupu man will have to put up a first aid right now. I think he will be popping up a first aid. Once he does that, the grenade might do the work. It just might do the job if it's needed as it's just one place surviving. Pupu man with uh, the smoke cloud right now. Does he or does he not have a first aid? That's a big question from my side because he is yet not popping it for some reason. Now he does and I think but but his first aid gives the time for TX to actually revive his play, uh, revive their players and that is going to be a, a crucial time given away. Yeah, crucial time being given away. Pressure being relieved from the side of Team Extreme who were down to just one player. One versus one situation for the side of Superman. Just turn into a one versus three. He needs to watch his back as well. Down to the top four team, six players alive. Three of them are from the side of Team Extreme. Just solo players from all the other squads surviving. And can they clutch this one out for their team? We have seen this as well. One versus three clutch. Soul TP and Elementrix all on the same side. Rusen is going to go for the drop. Is he going to get it? And what was the advantage being given away because Team Extreme right now on the other side of the bridge. Uh, Rusen is going to be able to get a new set of uh, uh, protection for himself right now. Solty Rusen does not have any healings except for bandages and 25 bullets in his Uzi. He does not have an extended mag as well. Can those 25 bullets change the, uh, the, the, the timing for Solty forever? Or will this be Elementrix's come Elementrix comeback match? The match that Elementrix kind of needed. Look at P and Blend as well, still surviving out there. Three versus one versus one. This can be TX's second chicken dinner as they had the previous one in the Yasnaya fight of yesterday. Will it be their second match? Will it be the match that changes all the things for them? Or will Soul Team move in forward? Will P and Blend just blend in his surroundings to sing at the last moment? Or will Poo Man show the gameplay for Elementrix that changes everything? Kazi is trying to spot someone. I think if it does, it's going to be Soul Team as he should be looking for the airdrop. I mean, they have three players. They can just go on one by one by one to get the uh, information but they don't want to lose the player. Soul Tirushin doing up a smoke right in front of himself just to move inside the circle. He is no doubt inside the circle but he needs to be in the safer, safer spot right now. He has 75% HP. Cannot increase it as does not have any boosts to do the stuff. Demon with a grenade is gonna go in but there's gonna be nobody out there. The grenade was on the smoke but Soul Tirushin was not in that area right now. Which team is gonna win ladies and gentlemen? That's gonna be a big question and this is the first game of the second day. TX even look at Kazi. Look at Nico moving in forward. He knows that there was Pooman and the vehicle, 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 vehicle goes in, vehicle goes in and he goes down as well as Groza comes into the equation. That was a good stop from his side but now it's a 3v1v1 v1 as Drusen is going to be out there. P and Blend is going to be out there. Had they not stopped their vehicle, had they were keep, uh, kept it on driving, I yeah. think all the three players would have gone down by the vehicle itself. Yeah, the information would have been there, but right now they know that there is definitely going to be one person behind that airdrop and Solty Roos and his, uh, his safe location has been compromised. But since he did not fire a single shot or he did not move at all, they are still confused as to where he is behind the tree. But the smokes, I think, are going to give the information away. Demon is going to come charging in, stops the, uh, stops the buggy right out in front of the drop and Roos and just take a lot of damage with uh, that gun and he is going to be taken down as well. Solty being eliminated, P and the only man left standing is going to get two but not going to be able to clutch the third one and Team Extreme get the chicken dinner in the first game of finals day number two and in amazing fashion as well that was a total of 31 point play coming in for this game. 11, 11, kills. 11. 11 kills out there but this was impressive ladies and gentlemen if anything like the, the players they knew, they knew like